guys, welcome back to another video. The products I'm using are super pink, pink, really, pink and bright. I'll be using candy pink, pink flame micro shards, which are absolutely stunning. I'll be using Love Struck, which is this gorgeous pink glitter mix, and Bunny Boiler, which is this hot pink acrylic powder. I'll also be pairing that with Platinum Silver, and I'll be using Crystal Clear and Toasted Rose. I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back, let it swing right back. I wanted to let you know before I start that my new upload schedule is every Tuesday and Thursday at 5pm and I've listed it at the top of my channel as well on the artwork so you guys can see there. So this is a redesign and infill from my last set that I showed last week so if you want to see the videos on that then check out my other videos. I'll leave them linked on the screen for you guys so you can just go straight there and check them out. And I've got my clear base ap applied and my prep is all done so we're ready to come in with the design work. So I've started off and I've placed Candy Pink at the free edge. This is a duo marble powder so I use it nice and wet and use brushing motions and that just blends in that pigment and gives us a solid colour. I'm then coming in with the Pink Flame Micro Shards and I'm just placing them over the top and honestly they look absolutely gorgeous. I was like, oh my gosh, I could literally just have a full set of that right now because it just looked so beautiful it looked really really just really pretty um but i knew that i wanted to come over the top of it with love struck which still looked gorgeous but i did like it without that as well so let me know what you guys think did you prefer it without the love struck over the top or with i mean it did look good both ways but i just loved it without i thought it was just super delicate and simple and sparkly um, so I'm coming in with Love Struck and that's a loose glitter as well and I'm just placing that randomly over the top and making sure that everything is laying flat. At this point I was like I need some more of those shards coming through so I just added a couple more over the top there. Also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell that way you will be notified as soon as I upload. Okay, moving on to the next nail, I'm using Toasted Rolls, and as you can see, it's a nice cover powder. It's a warm, nude pink colour. I absolutely love it. I'm placing it right at the free edge area to conceal my natural nail that has grown underneath, and I'm just blending it up and down the nail. After I finish with that bead, I come in with a cuticle area bead. I'm just placing it on the nail and pushing it up and then blending it down the nail. The brush that I'm using, I believe, is the number 12 Rainbow Aqua. Yes, it is. Just got a glimpse of it there. So it's a number 12 Rainbow Aqua brush. I can't remember if it's in stock. If it is, I'll link it down below. But all of our number 12 Kalinsky brushes are the same or very similar in size and shape because they are all flat oval brushes so they'll be like this the only difference is the design of the handle so this is where i'm at now it's how toasted rose is looking i absolutely love how beautiful this cover powder is and i decided that i was going to come in with some of the platinum silver i really wanted to incorporate silver into this set and so I'm placing it at the free edge and blending it up the nail to blend into that cover powder. Once I've applied my first bead of the platinum acrylic powder, I'm going to go ahead and fade it towards the free edge, just using light feathering motions. And then I'm going to flip my brush around and just blend it back up the nail over that toasted rose and it's going to give us that glitter fade. So I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. Again, just to let you know, I am working using my left hand and I am not left handed so it may seem a little bit awkward, um, but hopefully you guys can see everything. I'm pretty sure you can. I try to stay as steady as possible. Um, so over the top of the platinum acrylic, I wanted to come in with those micro shards and again, oh my god, the combination was so dreamy and it just looked absolutely stunning. 
So I'm going to let those set and come in with some 3D art over the top. Whilst that's setting, I'm moving on to the pinky finger and I'm coming in with Bunny Boiler. This is a solid, there's no shimmer in it. It's a gorgeous hot pink colour. I absolutely love it. Um, so I'm doing a full nail of that and it's super pigmented so you can work nice and thin Of course if you wanted to work thicker with our acrylic powders you can definitely do that as well But I've always just worked this way. I've worked thinly so that I can get a nice I don't know. I just always have worked thin with color powders um, so it was super important for me to have the best pigmentation possible so that you can work as thin as you like but also to be able to manage the product easily if you want to work with it thicker as well. So now that that's been applied I'm coming in with the shards again and I'm just laying those over the top of the colour in a random swirly motion just spreading them out with the tip of my brush and then I'm going to add a few pieces of the Love Struck um, loose glitter just within that and it just brought the whole set together so it all fit nicely together and it looked super pretty. So moving on to my ring finger, both my ring finger and thumb are going to be the same. I'm applying Candy Pink and Bunny Boiler and I'm doing a marble free edge. I'm then going to come in with Toasted Rose and blend that over the top. Add some micro shards and then that is that and honestly it looked absolutely stunning. I just wanted to let you guys know as well that my classes are available now. They are online. I'll leave the link down below. So everything is completed at home in your own time and you get unlimited access to course content and material and it's just super easy to follow. I go into great detail of what to do and what not to do when creating different designs and products and art and stuff like that. So definitely check them out, especially if you want to learn the 3D flower, which I will show you a little bit further on in this video. Um, yeah, I go into real detail on three types of flat 3D flowers in that course and you guys that have taken it so far have absolutely loved it and the results that I've seen have been fabulous. So now that I've applied my design, this is the stage that I am at. As I said, I did the 3D flower off of camera, but if you want to take my online class for that, then the link is down below so you can check that out. All the details for the course are on the website, but if you do have any questions about it, please feel free to email me or direct message me on Instagram and I will do my best to, you know, of course, give you any information that you feel like you are missing. Um, so I'm just coming in and encapsulating all of the nails and this is just to protect the design and create the structure as well. After I've finished capping, I come in with my e-file and hand files and I just go ahead, file, shape and buff the nails. Now that I've filed and buffed the nails and got rid of all of the excess dust and debris off my hands, I'm coming in with Nailmate Super Gloss and this is the No Wipe Top Coat. It's absolutely amazing. So many of you guys absolutely love it. It is my absolute favourite ever. And of course, top coating the nails is my favourite part as well. So I'm going to come in and apply my top coat. I'm not going all the way to the cuticle area on camera because I need to be real close and personal to do that. So I'm just kind of doing the main reveal and then touching up afterwards before curing in the light. But how stunning do they look top coated? 
absolutely in love with them. I cured in the lamp and added some cuticle oil and this is the final result you guys I am in love with how it turned out it was so pretty and beautiful I just was in love with it so much so that I decided to do it in a mint blue teal color which will be my next video so keep an eye out for that that will be my video coming up on Thursday turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out and as always guys thank you so much for watching and remember you are bomb.com lit as fuck and don't ever let anybody tell you any different because you've got this and I love you Mwah. bye